Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna cover BlackBerry stock, more specifically in terms of press release for the BlackBerry IPO, and um, some a little bit other press releases as well. And I'm gonna cover the insider um, selling portion, just so that, to show the direction of what do the insiders believe? Do they think that everything's gonna fail anyways? Are they overselling or are they not overselling? Um, so on and so forth. So I think that's gonna be beneficial. Hopefully you enjoy the video, hopefully you like it. Um, in terms of BlackBerry press release, you just go to BlackBerry Investor Relations website and you could um, listen to live uh, conferences as well, by the way, too, and then the summits and so on and so forth. Um, or you could look at the press releases and the quarterly um, earnings releases as well, too. So I'm gonna go to the press releases. There's a couple additional news, news as well. BlackBerry unveils next generation UEM, redefining the endpoint management market. BlackBerry partners with ServiceNow to autonomy IT operations. This was released today, October 10th, 2023. And on October 9th, so yesterday, um, BlackBerry um, released a, a press release stating that BlackBerry is to host investor briefing. So live Q&A with management to discuss Project Imperium, which is the BlackBerry IPO IoT portion update. And today announced that it will host an investor briefing regarding uh, yeah, investor in briefing regarding the project premium update provided on October 4th, 2023. Presenters are going to be John Chen, BlackBerry Executive Chair and CEO, and Steve Rye, BlackBerry CFO, so Chief Financial Officer, which is awesome. Um, on Tuesday, October 17th, 2023, at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, for that summit, it does start at 9 a.m. John Chen will speak in the beginning of the summit, but um, they allocated a specific time for this QA, which is awesome, at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, um, just to go over what the direction is going to be and so on and so forth. Uh, questions can be submitted during the event in the chat box or in advance by emailing investorrelations at blackberry.com. Again, you could find this information just going to Blackberry Investors Relations website uh, and then you could either email them and so on and so forth um, or log in and then you could register here to see the live stream or replay it while, um, or replay will be available later on on the website itself. So there's that. Now in terms of insider selling, just go to Yahoo Finance um, this is one way, there's other ways as well. Type in the ticker symbol for BlackBerry, which I already did, then click on holders, then go to insider transactions. And uh, for the most part, this is the most up-to-date, hypothetically, sometimes it might be delayed a little bit by a month, no big deal. Um, but as of September 28th, 2023, so a week and a couple days, um, Kurtz was awarded about 26, 27,000 shares uh, on September 28th, 2023, and sold about a little bit, uh, or more than 50% of those shares. Um, for a sale price of $4.57. Now that's not a big deal because he's not selling all of them. So that's a good sign. Or not selling more than what he was awarded in terms of previous awards. Because I've noticed um, for the past like year, two, three years, they've always um, would be awarded a, a, a set amount and then sell about a little bit more than half or a little bit less, give or take. Um, right about here you can see Ericsson was awarded on uh, June 28th, 2023, about almost 40,000 shares but sold about 11,000 shares uh, the same day. So about give or take 25%, um, a little bit more than 25%, but still not half or not all obviously, or not previous awards as well. Um, and then we go to October 3rd or March 31st to be exact for the award for Dickman, um, 88,000 and April 3rd of 2023 as well, obviously uh, sold about 28,000, right? So uh, not, not too much insider selling hypothetically in terms of throughout the year. Obviously, you would want to see them to buy. That would promote more confidence. But at the same time, they're selling give or take about half. They're not selling more in terms of like the whole entire lot that's awarded, or they're not selling from previous times that they were awarded over like over um, the set amount. So um, again, so this like to me, it doesn't show that it doesn't show that they are hypothetically panic selling, um, and it doesn't show that they are too worried. But at the same time, they're not fully confident 100 it's just like neutral in a way if that makes sense at least that's why i perceive it right uh, i'm not a professional so keep that in mind disclaimer not a financial expert or anything um do your own due diligence before buying and selling and i do own shares in blackberry too so be aware of that as well um and let me see what else that's basically it yeah so hopefully you find this information helpful um and again like always do your own due diligence and research before buying and selling and if you do like this video consider dropping a like it helps the channel so thank you so much for that and if you want to be notified when I do upload my next video uh, and so on and so forth, consider following or subscribing. And I'll see you next video. Thanks again for watching and peace.